What's going on, everybody? It's BC9 for XYZ here, and welcome back, everybody, to Red Dead Redemption. We're going to continue on forward. And, um, I'm just basically, I just finished up Destiny 2, officially. So, um, let's go ahead and, uh, just keep going with this game. Um, excited to see where it goes. So, haven't, uh, played this in a bit. Not as much as the first hiatus, of course. It's been like. Um, a little bit, but let's go to Bonnie and do a mission for her. Which is weird because she's not in her uh, usual place. Alrighty. Here we go, a Tempest Looms. Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice, then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Marston, hurry! Let's go! Hey! That sky don't look good. Back to I'm starting riding to think somebody horses. up there conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books. Others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. The past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. We're not gonna be able to hear each other in this rain. Just make sure you don't lose sight of me. Horse riding missions because they the steering just does not work. Ever. Let's go. 
Seventeen out of twenty one, not too bad. Could have been worse. You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Miss McFarland. mission. There you go. These Bonnie missions are ridiculous. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old fool. Don't we all? I've got a bad feeling about this. Wow, the... it's not like him to be away for so long. The graphics are not good we'll right now. <laughs> he's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Yeah, the, the graphics well, are not handling well right now. <laughs> I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Look, I think I see someone. Yeah! As quick as you so can! Good. Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. 
Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now, you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Skiddy up! Watch out! What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Why do I get the feeling that something bad happens? Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw it. with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. Yep. Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire. I saw the Come smoke on, from a distance. It was a question, though. I was really on fire. There ain't enough of us! It's getting worse! We've got to get to the horse! We've got to get that horse out! The doors are blocked! We need to find another way in! Come we on. have to find another way to get in there! This ain't working! Get a move on! Uh, press X. Oh. It off. Hey, now what? No, 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 no. What the fuck just happened? What was that ragdoll effect? Are you fucking serious? know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. 
I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. I apologize for slamming the desk, but there is nothing that pisses me off more. For those of you that have watched my videos in the past, you know this. There are, is nothing that pisses me off more than game mechanics that do not work. There is quite literally nothing in the world that could possibly piss me off more than game mechanics that do not work. Now, of course, I have to give this game... A little bit of credit. It's 2000. This was made in 2006, so it's not like it's not like this was made like yesterday. You know what I mean? Um, I forget where this thing is. The fast travel system is. Oh, let's go there. Hello. So I do apologize for those of you who were scared by me. What the hell is going on? Hold on. I'm gonna save the game. I'm gonna fast forward time again. I don't know what's going on. Please. Okay, I'm gonna just ride my horse over there. Come on! Why the hell is it not here? Come! You see what I mean? It's just he looks stupid doing that. Hold on, I'll be right back. Wow, this is an actual paper. Oh my god.
I'm gonna head back to Armadillo then, because I don't know why it's, the stagecoach tax is not here, and it should be, and I don't know why. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'll